Hi ladies and gentlemen, uh, please watch this video in HD for clear view. Uh, here I have just made a function uh, in MATLAB which is very very easy and it is used to find the convolution. Uh, there are basically two methods of convolution. First one uh, uh, is the method in which we take our impulse response and just invert it along the time axis and then uh, slide it and then find the convolution. So in the, that uh, particular method is more complicated and time taking. So there is a more uh, easy approach uh, to solve the problem of convolution that is just take your input and your impulse response to the frequency domain, simply multiply them and then take the inverse of it again to get the answer in the time domain. So this one is an easy, easy approach so this code will do the same trick. It will just take uh, the input x and the h or impulse response in time domain and then it will take uh, it to the frequency domain as uh, s is equal to sigma plus j mega so sigma here is just zero and uh, well the plus of my impulse response then simply multiply it with each other simplify it then take the inverse of it to get the answer in time domain again from the frequency domain uh, so let me demonstrate with an example uh, as for x y m s t okay for the instance uh, c o n l v l my input function is uh, let's say e to the uh, exp to the t uh, let's say i have input of sin t and uh, my impulse response is exp to the minus t i have just entered uh, its expression and uh, here is my x of t and here is my h of t so after pressing the answer here i will get this convolution that is uh, in this form uh, in time domain again with exp to the minus t over 2 minus cos t over 2 plus sin t over 2 i can also change it uh, like i have, have, a, I have a t to check whether it's work yes uh, by putting the t it works it take t plus exp to the minus t minus 1 so here is my uh, convolution of it convolution is an illusion thank you take care bye